Our life is what our ideas make it, said Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher king. This video will show you 11 important things you should quietly get rid of. Aurelius says that we can change if we know and control our inner territory. We want you to take part and tell us what you think about each problem. Do not leave until you have learned, thought about yourself, and changed. Let's start. 1. Trying to explain yourself to people who hurt you. Don't fight or give them a long reason when an old friend hurts you. Moving on is the best thing to do. It's more important to keep your peace than to get even or say sorry. This person might come back to you and ask for help. I promise that a firm no is enough. The person who lied to you doesn't need your help. Most of the time, staying away from people who cause you stress is the best thing to do. Time will show how their actions turned out. Look after yourself. Let the future be what it will be. It's often the best way for everyone to grow. Don't lie. People who are rude are not what you need. It's brave to leave people who don't deserve it when you know you deserve it. Stress is not as important as your mental health and growth. Marcus Aurelius said, the best revenge is to be unlike him who did the wrong. Don't be like them, instead, work on your inner peace and character to become your best self. That's the real deal. 2. No useful goals. We have to make tough decisions, be responsible, and be ourselves in order to get through life. During this process, we need to be able to tell when our goals are no longer helping us. It's okay and necessary to set these goals aside so we can focus on what really matters. But being careful is very important for this process. Do not make every choice public. Not everyone needs to know what you do all the time. This extra care helps keep your plan and goals safe while you make these changes. Connect your actions in a subtle way to your identity and beliefs. Change gently, adapting to new situations, or make sure you always value privacy when making life decisions. This method makes your journey easier and more secure. Philosopher Seneca once said, It's not that we don't have enough time, but that we waste it. Life isn't short, we make it that way. This saying says, We are not poor, but we waste what we have. It tells us to focus on important goals and let go of the rest, so we can make good use of our time and energy. 3. Too much talk. When stopping a friendship or sexual relationship, it's very important to keep private information private. Sharing information about fights or breakups invades privacy and leads to rumors, which makes things worse. It's better to take these events inside and think about them. This way keeps everyone's privacy safe and helps them heal more deeply. You might need to talk about these personal worries because of mental problems that haven't been dealt with. Stay away from outside sources of stress and talk to yourself to understand and deal with these feelings. This way of ending a bad relationship with respect and without a public debate. You look out for your own health and the health of others by encouraging a quiet and polite way to heal. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher, said, You control your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This saying is related to the idea of controlling our responses to outside events, especially when our marriages end. 4. Speaking in public. Picture yourself in a tense meeting with a racing heart because you are mad or annoyed. We've all been there, right? Then I really want to snap. What if we spoke softly and used that fiery energy to speak in steady, calm tones? It's not just about keeping face, it's also about getting through our mental storms. Remember a time when someone lost it. How did you really feel? Not sure, maybe even disappointed. Think of someone whose voice was a bomb in the noise and who stayed cool despite everything going on. 
That person is someone we all want to be, right? We are stronger because of these trials and spiritual tests, which turn our anger into action and our dissatisfaction into focus. Alchemy of Souls Not only biting back angry words, but also using that anger to do something that moves us forward and turns obstacles into stepping stones. Being balanced is the best virtue, as Heraclitus said. In a storm, being calm is our best weapon and being balanced is our courage. When you feel angry or upset, remember that your own superpower is the ability to stay cool and whisper when everyone else is shouting. 5. Putting others down. Think about the last time someone said bad things about someone. Didn't you want to know what they say when you're not there? It's dangerous to criticize other people. Those words stay with you like ghosts, making you less likable. It's easy to get caught up in the moment. It's not enough to be polite, you also need to be reliable and well-liked. You don't have to like everyone, but everyone you meet is fighting something you don't know about. Think about having to deal with a tough person or situation. We all want to judge quickly, don't we? You can change the story right now, though. Pick understanding over disdain and talking over fighting. It is tough. You'll be annoyed, sorry for them, and maybe even impressed by how determined they are. This method isn't just about keeping the peace, it's also about understanding how people feel and connect with each other. This helps people get along with each other and makes you a person who can handle conflict with kindness. If you made it this far, please leave a note to show that you want to change. If you want to see more like this, like and follow. 6. Never stop looking at other people. The comparison game that never ends is like a machine that you can't get off of. Wearing out, never ending, and taking my happiness. When you compare your achievements to those of others, you not only hurt yourself, but you also ruin the beauty of your story. This need to compare makes us feel like we're behind and causes us to question ourselves and be unhappy. Turn things around, be proud of your quirks, mistakes, and wins, no matter how small. You shouldn't ignore the world, you should accept your real, unaltered journey. Life is crazy, unexpected, and full of different things. Your ups and downs, successes and failures, show how determined and unique you are. So write your own story, from the hard times to the good times, and make it your own. When you take charge of your trip, you make the rules your own. Epicurus said, control your thoughts, act wisely, and willingly accept what you can't change. This is similar to the idea that we should focus on our own way instead of comparing ourselves to others. 7. Careless Use of Social Media Think of your life as a one-of-a-kind story of personal growth and interesting experiences. While social media is a huge collection of other people's stories, most of the time it's just their best, this difference can lead to unfair comparisons and unhappy life experiences. Because of this, we should use social media on purpose, looking for ideas, connections, or information, and then go back to our own journey. Plan to use social media after your morning coffee or after work to avoid it constantly interrupting your life. Ask yourself, is this productive or distracting, before you start any online activity? Being mindful is what separates real participation from mindless scrolling. Take a break from social media if it makes you feel bad about yourself or your mood. You can do important things that strengthen your life story during this time apart. You can now enjoy your life story without comparing it to others and focus on what truly feeds you. 8. Looking for validation from outside. Let us talk about being free from other people's approval. Imagine that you are on a stage with a spotlight and a lot of people ready to judge what you do, say, and even just be. This stressful and limited situation shows how suffocating it is to live for other people's praise. 
Imagine leaving that stage for a quiet spot where your words will be heard the most. This change puts more weight on listening to your inner voice than on what other people say. Like putting on clothes that don't fit right to make other people happy, living for other people's approval takes us away from ourselves. Think about the times you were truly happy when you stuck to your own views and ideals, regardless of what other people thought. This is what truthfulness means. Do this every day by thinking about what you want before you make a choice. Do you want it for yourself or for other people? Believe in your gut, honor what you want, and feel good about yourself. Enjoy your achievements, learn from your mistakes, and be kind to yourself. Remember that accepting yourself takes small wins that add up to big ones. Find partners who respect your individuality and freedom of expression. By letting go of what other people think, we can live a more honest and happy life, like the main characters, who are led by being true to ourselves and not being afraid of anything. 9. Try to be perfect. To get better, we have to deal with our need to be perfect. This way of thinking is good for you, but it can make you feel tense and like you're never enough. Perfectionism leads to impossible standards and a fear of making mistakes. We need to accept our flaws in order to grow and be happy. Like great art, life is more important when we accept our flaws. To stop trying to be perfect, start by accepting your flaws and learning from your mistakes. Instead of perfect, set the goal of exceptional. Do your best, but know that you can do better. When things go wrong, be nice to yourself. Enjoy your hard work and know that every event is good for you. Lastly, don't see success as a perfect result, see it as a way to learn and grow. Giving up on being perfect opens up new options where mistakes can be used as chances. This way of doing things helps you calm down and live honestly, so you can enjoy your humanity and your unique trip. 10. Holding on to unrealistic expectations. On the long trip of life, we often set sails of expectation, chasing our hopes and dreams. But these hopes could turn into unrealistic dreams that send us sailing off into the rough seas of disappointment and disillusion. We try to find perfection in other people, our lives, and ourselves, but it's pointless because the horizons get smaller as we get closer. These huge demands, which are often fueled by the whispers and roars of society and the media, can make it hard to see our true selves and the pure, unfiltered beauty of life. Being completely honest with yourself is the only way to get rid of these false beliefs. It means getting rid of should-haves and could-haves to find our real goals. Key is to be aware of these standards and bravely ask ourselves if they make us feel better or worse. This is not a fairy tale change. It is a hard, sometimes painful acceptance of the flaws in life and our own limits. Important is to set goals that are true to who we are, not what other people want. Small wins and growth show how strong we are. The trip is beautiful not because of its end goal, but because of all the things it has taught us. Giving up unrealistic hopes frees us and shines a light on life's unexpected beauties. This lets us sail its rough seas with an open heart to all of its ups and downs, happiness and sadness. 11. Talking about other people. Gossiping and rude speech can seem like quick ways to connect, but they often lead us astray. Think about the last time you had a chat like this. Did it make you feel better or did it slowly hurt your integrity? Words can either grow fields or weeds, just like seeds can. Talking to each other in a kind and understanding way builds trust and respect. It's not always easy on the trip. Gossiping can be tempting and even necessary at times. Stop yourself the next time you're about to say or hear something mean. Think of the other person as a person like you, with problems and successes. Would you like to talk about your worst times without getting anything done? 
Avoiding talk is a way to show that you care about others and create a good atmosphere. By being a good model, you not only avoid negativity, but you also help other people connect with each other in a more genuine and empathetic way. In conclusion, by following these tips, we can develop a strong, caring, and joyful mind that helps us grow as people and build stronger bonds with others. Click the bell to get more videos like this, and if you found it helpful, subscribe and leave a review. As usual, two more videos are coming out for study on Stoic Wisdom.